These are the equations we'll be using to do this problem. Lambda, the decay constant, in terms of the half-life. Activity is lambda times n, number of atoms. And mass is n over Na times the atomic mass number. Suppose you had plutonium and it's radioactive. It has an activity of 8 times 10 to the 16 becquerels and a half-life of 4.96 hours. And you're asked, what is the mass that gives this activity? First, we find the decay constant, 0.693 over the half-life. However, this half-life is in hours and we need to change it to seconds. I do this by the logic that there are 3,600 seconds per hour. The units cancel out and you get an answer in seconds. Putting this in gives us an answer for the decay constant of 3.88 times 10 to the negative 5 per second. The activity is equal to the decay constant times number of atoms. Rearranging this gives the number of atoms is the activity over the decay constant. Putting these values in, we get 2 times 10 to the 21 atoms. Finally, we find the mass, which is number of atoms over atoms per mole, times atomic mass number, which is grams per mole. You can see how all of these units cancel out to give just grams. Avogadro's number is the number of atoms in one mole of carbon-12. This is 6 times 10 to the 23 atoms per mole. To get an answer in mole, we get atoms divided by Avogadro's number. This is 3.4 times 10 to the negative 3 mole. Then we times this by the atomic mass number, which we get from the symbol of plutonium in the question, 239 grams per mole. Finally, this gives us an answer after cancelling out of 0 0.82 grams. To recap, we need to find the decay constant, then find n number of atoms, then use masses n over Na times the atomic mass number to give you a number in grams. Well done.